Hello everyone, my name is Jess Gagin. I'm the current Miss England and today I'm going to be reading a story by a world against single use plastic called The Story of Three Plastic Bottles. The Story of Three Plastic Bottles. One early afternoon, not so long ago, three children, Sam, Mandy and Yusuf, were walking home from school together after a game of football. They chatted, ate snacks and drank from plastic bottles. Sam was the first to finish his drink. He playfully flicked the blue cap at Yusuf before flinging the empty bottle towards a group of bins without a second thought. Billy Bottle, for that was his name, landed with a plop amongst all the other rubbish that was thoughtless people had thrown on the ground. What an ugly, horrible mess. Mandy carried on drinking. The three friends climbed the steps and walked across a bridge. Halfway over, Mandy gulped down the last drop from her bottle. Then just for the fun of it, she hurled the empty container over the bridge wall to land in the stream below. On tiptoes, they watched as her bottle, Bertie, landed with a splosh and joined the masses of other floating rubbish. Yusuf slipped his drink thoughtfully. He suddenly felt really sad after seeing his friends throw their bottles and he wished he had stopped them. When he had finished his drink, he replaced the lid on Bella Bottle and held on to her until he spotted a group of recycling bins on the opposite side of the road. He crossed the road carefully, making sure there were no cars coming. Choosing the one that said plastic, Yusuf popped Bella safely in through the hole in the bin. Yusuf had bothered to think. Bella Bottle was happy in amongst her other plastic friends. The children reached the street where they all lived and said goodbye before entering their lovely, warm homes. For the three bottles, however, it was a different story. Their journeys were just about to begin. Billy Bottle was sad. He lay on the floor in a sticky, gooey mess for a long time. One morning, he was scooped up with all the other rubbish and thrown into the back of a garbage truck. It was very stinky in that truck, I can tell you, yucky. The truck then took all of this rubbish to a landfill site, a really deep hole in the ground. The back end of the truck began lifting. And then suddenly, the bags and Billy tumbled forward and fell through the air, landing with a thump into this huge pit in the ground. Billy looked around. He was shocked to see a wasteland as far as the eyes could see, filled with mountains of rubbish, old tires, broken TV sets, smashed toys, and layer upon layer of rotten, smelly, toxic rubbish. Yuck. Poor Billy Bottle lay there for many years, buried under more and more rubbish until he also got covered in soil. After many years, the wasteland above the gigantic hole in the earth where he had been buried was made into a lovely parkland with trees, plenty of flowers and animals. Sounds just lovely, doesn't it? But the rain over all of those years had seeped into the soil and over time, Billy and all the other plastic items hidden under the ground began to leak poison called leachates into the soil and the underground water. They couldn't help doing it. It just happened as more and more rain seeped into the earth. Trees, flowers and grass drank up the poison water from within the soil because they were thirsty. Even worse, any animal that ate the plants, like cows or sheep, swallowed the poison too. And that's not good because they became really poorly. Do you remember Bertie Bottle? Well, he too was far from happy. As he floated down that stream, ducks tried to peck at him. Fish tried to nibble him and children threw stones to try to sink him. He floated on and on through rain and shine. The stream turned into a river where he was bashed by boats and thrashed by oars. The river then flowed into a huge ocean and Bertie was carried along by the tide. Week after week, he floated on until eventually, boom, he joined an enormous floating garden patch, like a gigantic traffic jam of rubbish in the middle of the ocean. This garbage patch was bigger than Australia. Here there were plastic bags, flip-flops, bottles, 
and many other items of plastic that had also floated there after being thrown away by careless people who did not bother to recycle. Bertie floated there for many years in the salty water and parts of him began breaking off. He noticed that hungry sea creatures swimming past found the plastic rubbish remarkably interesting. Food, they thought. Hooray! But sadly, they were wrong. It definitely was not food. The poor fish and turtles tried to eat bits of the plastic. Some got their heads stuck inside plastic containers. Others got their flippers and fins tangled up and then they couldn't swim. Turtles thought that the plastic bags in the garbage patch were jellyfish and quickly gobbled them up. Bertie watched as the turtles sadly died. They did not have any proper food inside their stomachs, only rubbish. You cannot live on plastic, can you? Over time, Bertie continued breaking up into even smaller pieces of microplastic, which is teeny, teeny, tiny bits of plastic, too small for our eyes to even see. These two floated in the water and got swallowed by fish. If those fish are then caught by fishermen, they may well end up on your dinner plate. Fishy plastic is not good for you at all and could even make you poorly. Thankfully, however, there is a happy ending to this sad story and that's the story of Bella. She was safe along with her plastic friends. They were all collected by the jolly recycling truck driver, Bob, and taken to the recycling plant. They were sorted, crushed and washed in lovely warm soapy water. Then they were made into all sorts of new and wonderfully exciting things. This is called recycling. Bella Bottle and her friends did no harm at all to our planet. Bella Bottle was enormously proud of this. In fact, she and her friends lived on and on and on because they were made into beautiful bright blue plastic slides and benches for parks. The laughter of the children using the slide made Bella very happy indeed. Oh, and some other great news I almost forgot. Yusuf talked to Mandy and Sam about the importance of recycling and guess what? They never threw their bottles away ever again. So now you know this story and what you will do with your plastic bottles. I do hope that you too will make the effort just like Yusuf did and either recycle your bottles or get a reusable one. Remember, refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle.